क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the physical trends in the group 16 element and out of which we have discussed about a physical state of group 16 element we have got to know that is oxygen is a gaseous molecule while talking about sulfur is a solid molecule so why this is a difference so this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so now let's do this So friends in this topic we are going to talk about that is why dioxygen is basically gaseous form while the sulfur is of a solid form structure. So this is what I am going to talk about and this is what I am going to start with the oxygen first. So talking about oxygen, oxygen is more electronegative as well as it has a smaller atomic size and that's the reason because of this electronegativity they have a tendency to form P pi P pi bond. And that's the reason that is oxygen is always a that is dioxide if I'm talking about it is always a diatomic molecule and this is the structure where we can find that is a presence of pi bond between this oxygen atom and this oxygen atom and talking about the other thing that is because of this force of attraction between this oxygen and this oxygen and because of that is p pi and p pi bond between them if it has been interacted with other oxygen molecules then it has been found that is the van der Waals force between the two molecules is very much less and whenever these molecules are basically applied at a room temperature then here we see the van der Waals force vanishes and that's the reason that is the oxygen molecules and the other oxygen molecules they get separated and that's the reason that oxygen molecule is basically a gaseous molecule and suppose if we talk about sulfur so sulfur does not form that is p by p by bond between the other sulfur and that's the reason that they have no tendency to form a gaseous state and in fact if i would say that is they have a tendency to form categorization so that's the reason that sulfur has a tendency to form that is a single bond with other sulfur while talking about the comparison of oxygen and oxygen single bond and if we compare it that is sulfur and sulfur single bond it has been found that is the sulfur and sulfur single bond is very much stronger compared to that of oxygen single bond oxygen and that's the reason that the sulfur has a property that is known as catenation and if we have discussed about in our earlier lectures also we have got to know that is sulfur has a catenation that can reach up to that is s8 and this puckered structure or puckered ring structure of sulfur makes it to be a bigger molecule and since sulfur has a bigger atomic mass also compared to that of that is oxygen as well as bigger atomic size so that's the reason that they have a tendency to form solid and they are not like that is oxygen which is of gaseous phase so therefore these are the few reasons that, that is what i want to discuss about and that's the reason that we have come up to the conclusion and from here on we are coming to the conclusion that is dioxide is a gas while sulfur is a solid that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much